Hello everyone, welcome on back. Today we're going to work on another album. If you watched my squash album tutorial, I had said in that one that that was the very first album I ever made. Well, this would be the second album I ever made, and actually this one was a kit. Um, some of the embellishments were not in the kit, but the overall book was in uh, a kit. And of course, I've been making them ever since. You don't need a kit to make them. They're pretty easy. And they're called a uh, um, carousel album. So let me see if I can zoom this a little bit. So they're called carousel albums and they're very, very easy to make. And I thought I would share that with you. And trust me, if I could make it way back when, you guys can do this. And I had the uh, redirections. I didn't have, you know, um, any video to watch and show me how to make it or anything like that. I just read off of the paper directions that they gave you in the kit and uh, which were which were very good. But I have since learned to make it. I know that you can find the uh, tutorials all over YouTube now. Um, back then, of course, well, I don't, YouTube wasn't even around. So, all right. So we had to figure a lot of things out ourselves way back in the day. So let's get started and make this one. And it's very easy to make. You just need a circle. This one was made with a 12 inch circle. These are 12 inch circles that this one's made with. And I did a 10 inch circle on, this one we're gonna do a 10 inch circle. And I have a couple samples with different size circles. Um, you need four circles, cut them out any way you want. I cut mine on the Cricut, of course. Um, back in the day, like you took a dinner plate, whatever you had. Um, my very first circle cutter was at, I think it was a Fiskars and it had a bunch of holes in it. Um, I really didn't like it very well. Um, so that was like the first circle cutter I had. And, um, so just, yeah, just grab, cut circles any way you want. Dinner plate always works really well. Okay. So then what, all we're going to do is we're going to find the middle and then we're just going to score, which would be five since I'm doing a 10 inch. Let me bring it up a little bit so you guys can kind of see where I'm going here. So we're going to cut or just score right down the middle this way. And then we're going to score again right down the middle of the out. Just turn the opposite way. So you got a pie, four pieces of the pie. Okay. So let's do the other one. I got two of them done already. So we're going to make two of them together and then put the album together. I don't want the video. Do I will be making... Um, another album, which was my very first chipboard album, I decided to brave it. Um, when I make that one, I'm going to take my time on that one. That might be a, a couple parter, but a chipboard is a little different. If you've never made it, I want to take my time with it for you guys. So that'll be my next album I work on. I've got a lot of cool kind of projects in the works here that I'm trying to work on and everything. But I want to start you guys out slowly. I'm doing this for beginners. Um, I've had a lot of beginners that have joined my channel and been asking a lot of questions and stuff. So I'm going to try to help you guys out. And these are things that I learned from the beginning. And um, I love doing albums to this day now. So albums are a lot of fun to do. All right. So you have to so take any line. You have four, four lines. Take any line and we're going to cut up. One of them up until you meet the other line. Just like that. That's all we're going to do. Now, we do not need... I'll turn it this way. Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Okay, so we don't need all this bulk on this one, okay? So we're going to cut about an inch or so. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to take most of that off. So it looks like that. Keep these little scraps because you can use them for layering. I'll, I know I'll be using uh, some layering at the end. So now you have what looks like this. Okay. So now I'm just going to tuck this behind for right now. And then we have this and we're going to do another score here. And I find it easier to score this way, tucking that back. And I put little marks on my... Let's see if you can see those. I put some little marks, kind of show like um, where I want to go so that I can line this up with this mark down here. So you can see my lovely marks all the time. I mark up my scoreboard, go for it, you know, to your scoreboard. So I'm gonna be going, all I'm gonna be doing is going score straight down. 
So I want to get my line back here. And so I want to line that up and we're going to line it. And then if you're not sure, just lightly go down and follow that line to make sure you're going to line up because I have been off many times. Okay, so that lines up. So all we want to do, and there's, there's what you can do if you don't have a scoreboard. I find the scoreboard a lot easier. Is what you can do is because you already have, I'll do it on the next one. Okay, let, let me not confuse you guys, okay? So all we did was I put it up like this with the open V towards the top. And I have my cheater lines. And we're just going to score straight down from there. Okay, we just scored straight down. So we divided off that one. Okay, so let's put this one aside. Okay, and then we're just going to kind of fold up our little score lines. And we're going to take this and bring this up because this is going to be our connecting one. We're going to glue this into there to make this funky triangle thing. Okay, show that again. So here is where we cut most of that off. We're going to just bring it up a little bit so you can see the score line. And we're going to bring it in like this. And we are going to glue it down, okay? So let's do that quick. Let's throw some glue on there. Once you get this, you guys, it's so easy to make. I was a little intimidated when I got the kit. I was like, that's back, back in the day when we had a lot of scrapbook stores. Oh, God, I miss my scrapbook stores. Okay, so I'm just going to take it, make sure it's even, and just glue it down. So now we have this, and my other... Score line is over here. We're going to ignore that just for a minute until you get that score down, glued down. So that's what you got. I'll sit like that. Okay, now flip it. This score line, we want to come up and make a mountain. So to do that, just go ahead and bring it in. And just fold it. Everything flat. And that's going to be your mountain. So I'll show you in a minute what we got. Don't worry about being perfect, perfect with everything. It'll still line up. Okay, so now we have a mountain. So there you go. So that's what that looks like. Okay, so we're going to be making four of these. So we've got two done, three done now because I already have some started. Didn't want this video to go on and on forever. Now we're going to take our little, I hope you guys can see okay. On my end, I'm not sure. This red. I should have probably did something. Okay, so you can see all the score lines there, right? Just pick one of them. Doesn't matter which one. And cut straight up and meet the other score line. Okay. Easy, easy. That's what you got. Okay. Easy peasy. Turn it just to the side. So it looks like a Pac-Man. Okay. And then we're going to cut most of that off. We want to get rid of all that. Okay. We don't need all that bulk. So just leave an inch or so. Where's your eyeball? Remember to save this scrap for layering. Okay, and here's what you got again. You can see. I'll fold it up for you so you can kind of see. There you go. Okay. Now, to get that score in the middle here, if you don't have a scoreboard, it's easy. We're just going to fold our two score lines. So you can see. No, you can't see. So you see the score line? And see the score line underneath there? Okay, we're just going to meet those score lines. And then fold it in half. That's what I did. I didn't have scoreboards back in the day. So, there you go. Now I'm going to fold it the other way now and make a mountain. So now, you want to do that before you glue it together. So, that's the time to do it now. So, see, it works just as easy that way to fold it together. Okay, now we're going to glue this, get this together again. So there's your piece you can put glue on. I hope you guys are enjoying some of my projects. I mean, go ahead and, you know, would you like, uh, do you like the 3D projects? Would you like to see more cards? What kind of stuff do you guys like? I'm trying to get a variety out there to kind of see what you guys like. I like doing everything. I, I don't know about you guys. I get bored. I mean, I love doing cards, but I get bored doing cards all the time, you know? I've got a lot of 3D projects that we're going to work on, but there are a lot of them that I've made in the past I thought you guys might enjoy, you know, and I still make them to this day. 
Okay, now we gotta bring it, bring that in there. We're gonna fold that in half. We want them out, and remember, I'm just gonna bring all that in to the inside. And now we have this, and we have our mountain. Okay. Get that. I hope everybody caught that. If you have any questions, make sure you just ask me. Okay. Now, here's the other ones. I got two done. I already connected them and put some paper on some of them to save some time because there's a lot you have to do, okay? So now we're just going to add the other ones onto this. So all we're going to do is fold them in. And then we are going to just run glue on this side and sandwich this in there. Okay, that's all we're going to do. Like, see, I need a little bit of glue there, which doesn't really matter because you're going to be gluing that down anyways to the next one. So it doesn't really matter if your piece comes up a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to go through. I got two of them put together here. And I'm going to go ahead and put glue on this section. Okay. Something else to think about, guys. I'm, I'm kind of getting close to a thousand views. That's when you can go live, do some lives. Just wondering if you guys want to see some lives. Um, maybe a Q&A. Somebody had asked for um, me to do a video on, like, beginner craft supplies. But I thought that would be a better one for a question and answer session because they can kind of ask me. So think about that, guys, for when I go get hit a thousand. I'm hoping to hit a thousand by the end of the year. Uh, it might be a challenge, but yeah, you know, I might be able to make it. And um, think about what kind of lives you like. Would you like me to do some live AliExpress openings? Would you like um, a live Q and A? Um, I thought, like I said, that beginner to one that someone's been asking me for. I thought that would be an easier one for a live than that they can kind of ask me what kind of things they like that I, they should get. I mean, back in the day, I had nothing but scissors and glue, and that was Elmer's glue back in the day, you know. So a lot has changed, and and I have bought many things over the years, which I no longer have because some of that stuff is foolish to buy. You don't really need all those gadgets. Same with, like, I have a bone folder, but most of the time I just finger press it. I'm sure you guys do too. Um, okay, so let's glue the last one. Whoop, yeah, that yeah, can glue that. I'm talking it and I uh, I thought I was a step ahead, but I'm not yet. So the next step we want to do, we got to add on our, and just go ahead and lay it up there and just get it the best you can. Okay, and now you have this carousel merry-go-round cute okay so now we got it together we have our back cover we have our front cover okay we're gonna add on first thing we need to do though is grab a couple pieces of ribbon yes i always overcut and i know this doesn't ribbon doesn't match the best because i didn't i'm running out of colors here with everything i've been doing okay now we're, i'm going to show you how to cut like your triangles so you need these triangles like that, okay? So what you do is you take, you cut out an extra circle and then you just cut it apart. So you cut out one of the big ones, which is this piece here. So you just cut one, cut it, um, cut a circle a half inch smaller, sorry. So these were 10 inch circles. So make a circle at nine and a half because you want a border. So it's gonna, you'll be able to see a border here. Because I like to show, some people like don't like to show the border. I like to show a border of color. If you don't, leave it at 10 inches. So I cut another circle, a, a fifth circle, at nine and a half radius circle. Okay. Then I cut the big one out, the big wedge, and then I took a wedge and cut it in half. So these will be your two templates that you'll need. Okay. So I cut out. Let me throw some more glue down. Normally I would put some clips down. And that's another thing, you know, clips are such a handy thing to have um, when you're doing 3D projects. So normally I would put some clips down. Okay, so I'm going to start on my back and we want to put some ribbon down here. So let's just put a little glue here. Bring you guys in a little bit so you can see it better. Not too far. Okay, just throw some ribbon down. Okay, right about there. 
And then I have this one cut for the back. I'll cut the front one, but I got one ready for the back. We're just going to add our glue. Okay. I'm going to add that on right over the top of the ribbon. And I'm going to pick it up a little bit. I understand what crafters say about getting things, you know, like in the camera when I'm looking, it looks different. And but I don't want to pull it away from you guys, so but it looks pretty centered. Okay, that's the back. So now all I do to make a cut out a piece is so easy. And you can use clips if you want to help hold it if you're you know you're afraid it's gonna slip on you and everything. It doesn't have to be perfect. So then I take my template here and I just cut around. Okay. okay, my template by it, and this will be my front. It's gonna go on the front here, and I need that other piece of ribbon. And then you can kind of see if you lay it out like this and fold it down, you can see where my other one goes. So just put the glue right about there. You don't need a lot of glue, I'm gonna be putting it in. And yes, I always like to start with a little bit more ribbon. Like if I give these for a gift, I you know I don't want to get make it too short a ribbon for some people. And then we're just gonna put glue on. Okay, let's glue you down. I was gonna put that snowman on the other side on the front, but that was too busy. I thought. Okay. Okay. Now we have. Our, this is what we have and then you can you can tie it open if you're displaying it so you can tie it open so everybody can kind of see okay now we've got to put some pages on these and I have some cut out and a couple will cut together these big these big projects I do are can be kind of challenging on a camera can't they so again I've got the wedges so it was four pieces of paper for the circles and then um, these, are, I'm using a six by six pad on this one. I had this one in my stash yet. And um, so I'm, uh, your six by six pads are work good. I do tend to buy a lot of six by six pads for when I'm doing my smaller albums because I don't feel like I'm wasting as much. And if you use the big album, I tend to get as many um, pages out of one sheet. So I'm not wasting a whole sheet. So that's why I like the six by six. The only thing with the six by six, if you don't like, you don't get stickers. You do get cut out pages, you know, but you can go into your stash and get stickers and stuff like that. So whatever works for you. Six by six pads, of course, are a little bit cheaper. Ooh, drop that one. Okay, trying to get it, stay in camera. Okay, now I'm going to do on this side here. You know, I have fumble fingers. You know how the, it's, I have rheumatoid arthritis, so it's, I swear to goodness, the lighter weight things are the hardest to hold on to. Okay, and then we're just going to glue that in there. I drop lighter weight things, which is probably a good thing, but, you know. Okay, so we have that. Okay, and now we're going to do bottom here okay I hope I'm on camera I see my other iPad froze there so I'm hoping okay and let's get the other one down that one in there and you want to stay avoid the score lines stand up so I can see in the TV in the, my monitor up here because my other one froze okay so now fold in like that 
Now, for the last page, I will cut one with you guys. So I've got the two big ones cut out. I will cut the small one this time. So what I do, whoops, wrong template. What I do, what size I want. Let's do this um, cute little penguin. I haven't used him yet. Okay. So go ahead, we're gonna cut him out. Okay. Then we're gonna take the other template and cut it in half. If you can eyeball, go for that. I'm not very good at that though. Okay, and then we just cut that in half. Okay. Get that out of my way. And now we got this section to do. No, I know I seem to my album seem to be having a lot of Christmas. I have a lot of Christmas six by six. I have no idea why I have so many. But I'll be using them up to showing you guys things. So it doesn't take much paper at all, really, for this, for these. And again, I'm just using my, uh, say I have the Barely Arts glue. It's either Barely Arts or Glitter, Art Glitter glue that I use. And I just put it in. Um, so I like my little small bottle. And I like this bigger one that I have. It's a Sugar Bell. It's for icing but it's really easy to squeeze, so I like that one. Some of the bottles that the glue comes in are a little hard to squeeze. Although with this, you don't have to really squeeze much. To, it comes out of the bottles pretty good. Like I said, back in the day, it was pretty much school glue you used. You didn't have a lot back in the day. And you took pictures out of magazines. I'm sure some of you are familiar with doing that. Okay, so here we are. So we have all that done. Now what I'm going to do is, you know, it's done on this. It doesn't look like it because it's red, but it's done. Okay, let's get some of this out of the way. Now, like I said, in my other album, I really don't decorate the inside too much because of... um. I don't know who it's going to, and, and sometimes they give me the pictures, and then I fill in for them, and sometimes I just, I give it to them, and they'll give it back to me, and then I'll add embellishments to it. I don't know what they're going to be using for pictures and stuff, so I don't like to do too much there. Okay, so in this one, it comes with different cut, cut aparts. It came with four different pages, I believe. I think four different, four different ones. I think I used one. I used one of them, I think. Nope, here, yep, I did. Yep, okay, so came with the four different ones. So I'm gonna put a couple in because, so you guys can kind of see. So let's just, cut. you can cut this on your cutting, your paper cutter if you want, but you know, whatever, live brave. Use the scissors. Okay, so then I'll just, you know, take and, you know, put different things around. And do not glue down on this side, though. Leave that side open in case they put the pictures in. But if you're going to do the pictures for them later and put the embellishments in, then go ahead and you can glue it down afterwards. So I'll just put a few things in just to show you guys. And then I'm going to leave it for whoever I give this to. So now that side I left open, and then I can slip a picture. And you can put, on this one, you can put, you could put a 3 by 4 if you want, but I stick with 3 by 3s or I like to do sometimes like a 2 by 2 two of them. You know, I like to put different sizes. So you can do whatever you want. Now I will, let me see, what do I have for a big one? Let's take this one. So on here... You're just going to 
cut it down the middle. So now I got to find out where the, you know, you can't tell where the line is supposed to be. Get off that. So if I have bigger ones like that and I want to put them, use them here, I'll just take and cut them right down the middle. So you again, you can use your cutter, but I'm just going to brave it here. We're just going to cut right down the middle. I think that's not bad. And this one I'll glue down totally. I tend to, with this type of album, is um, put like writing down on these ones. Instead of pictures, I usually use these spots for all the pictures and then do writing or embellishments down on this section. You can't use a lot of embellishments, you know, because it folds up. So you don't want to make it too bulky. So you want to stick kind of with more flat things. Okay, so then we're just going to kind of line this up. You want to stay away from that score mark. Okay, whoops, I even got crooked. Terrible job showing you guys. Terrible job. Okay, so then it'll still fold up. So you can still put put things down on here if you want. You just got to come apart or put them on half and half. So you would decorate it, give it to them, or leave it. Okay, so now the, the front, we are going to put some things on the front. So I like this cute little snowman here. And you can decorate it any way you like, how much you like. It doesn't really matter. It's what you like. I mean, if you really don't like a lot of um, embellishments, then leave it that way. Okay, so I think I'm going to back this with some red. Yeah, I'm going to back with that with some red. So what I would just do, and you can, if you want to be more precise and measure out and everything, I'm just going to kind of lay it down there and just cut out around it. That's why you want to see, save these little scraps in case you need to do some borders, some matting. Because you really don't want to put, like here, you really don't want to put this on there because it's not going to show so well. So you want something that it's going to show, so this will show a lot better if it's got that little matting. Okay. Now let's get some glue on the back of this one. And glue this down. Okay. Now we just, uh, let me just kind of tie this closed for a minute. So it's kind of getting in the way right now. So do that first. I would have used a little wider ribbon if I had some. But I don't have much colors left right now. You'll forgive me. Okay, so just, you know, how do you want to put it on? I kind of I kind of almost like an angle. Some people are ADD, so we don't want to do that. So you can just, like, put it down here, whatever you want. However you want, you can put it. I almost kind of like that, but I kind of like that, too. Okay, so let's just not overthink it. That's another thing, guys. Just don't overthink things. You could be here all day, trust me, in the past. Oh, my God. I used to do scrapbooking. I don't do that as much anymore. Um... But, uh, yeah, that's because it took forever. It's like the right placement, the right picture, the right saying, the right, you know, everything. So then I took, I just took some of these little flat backs I have. Let's see. Here we go. I got three some little flat back snowflakes that I have. See them glitter? And I'm just going to kind of glue some up over here. Just to give a little little dimension to the album. Down here, you guys can see me a little bit. This is hard uh, trying to watch through my phone up here because my iPad went out. A little harder to watch there. Let's see, make sure I got the right side because there's a wrong side and the right side because you can see the glitter better on one side. So I'm just going to kind of do a little thing of threes up there. That's my thing. Kind of the threes. See, on this one, you can see it's just plain white. So on one side. And then it's got a little bit of glitter. So if you don't like glitter, if you're one of those people, don't worry, the glitter doesn't come off. Okay, that's cute. 
Then I have, let's see, I don't think I'll put any of these ones on, but I'll, I'm going to put this on. So I have this. This is, um, it says snow. It's actually a button. Okay. So we are going to cut the little shank off there. Easy to do. Okay. You just take a, I don't know, like a little wire clippers. It's for jewelry. And then you just put it way down there. And then I put it down, put my hand over because that little piece will shoot everywhere. And it just cuts really easy, breaks off really, really easy. So remember, you can use buttons for everything. They make good embellishments. They're not just for buttons. Most of the buttons I get are used for embellishments. I rarely use them. In fact, I um, gave away a bunch of my buttons when the mask, you know, start, we had to start making masks. And uh, they put a call out for buttons. And uh, I gave pretty much my whole stash away. So I've been kind of replenishing that. Okay, simple little cover. You know, some people might do more. You know, just simple. And then I might take, like, my glitter pens and add a little more sparkle in there. Because, you know, you can never have enough sparkle, right? Okay, while that's drying, I'll show you a couple other sizes. Okay, let's get some of this out of our way so we can see. So this is the original one I made. So you can see that is a 12-inch circles. And if you want to put like the things on top here, like this kit did, all you do, all you're doing is gluing them down. Just see, they just they just glue on the inside. You can glue them out uh, underneath your layered piece. The the kit showed to glue it this way, but of course now now I would glue it in between the two pieces. But this is how the kit showed back then. And I don't know about you guys when you first start learning a craft, you have to be precise with their directions. <laughs> And now, nowadays, no, I change things all the time. So that's how you would do that if you wanted to to, to put something on to your album sticking out like that too. I love this album. Of course, that's all my daughter's Halloween's. Of course, she'll be embarrassed again, but that's what I get to do. Because so that was a twelve-inch circle, and this was a ten-inch circle. So you can kind of see how the how the difference is. So this one I made, I believe was an eight inch circle. So I, I didn't really do much to this one because I, um, let's move these for a minute. I'm, I just kind of put it together just to show you a different size. Okay, so nothing fancy, but I'll show you. So we did put a few things in there, remember? Keep those. So if you want, this is like, if you want to give it to somebody somewhat decorated and just do not glue those down, all those corners. Uh, this one too, I didn't glue down. They can just put in, and what I do is I take, um those embossing powder things or just plain baby powder and rub it along to take the sticky off so it does, just doesn't stick down so just rub any baby powder or any kind of powder along that or if you have the little embossing um whatever those are called embossing i know you guys will tell me in the comments so then on this one for the closure what i did was put some eyelets in okay so i put some eyelets in and then i ran my ribbon now if I would have been on the ball, I, I thought of this afterwards, you know, because I was going to do a different closure, but I didn't like the way it showed. I would have um, tucked the ribbon in between, but that's okay. It's knotted like that. You can always take a sticker and put it over if you don't like that to show. And then what I did on the ends, trying to hold this here. Okay. What I did on the ends is put those, they're called ribbon, ribbon crimps. So you can get them in all different sizes. This is a one eighth or one quarter inch ribbon. This is one quarter inch ribbon. So the crimps are a quarter inch crimp and they're very easy to put on. They just give you a little detail to your ribbon. Your ribbon won't fray then. And all you do is you slide it on and crimp it down. If anyone wants a tutorial on that, let me know. I can show you more. Um, I might have a project coming up where I'm gonna do that. And then they have a little um, loop on the end of the crimp there i can't see it and i just stuck a charm in there another way to add a little pizzazz or whatever to your albums so i just added a charm to the ribbons let me tie it up so we can maybe see it a little better okay. maybe you can see but it just adds a little and you don't have to worry about it kind of sh fraying and everything just a little extra something on your ribbon 
So if you want a separate tutorial on them, I am going to be doing some beading tutorials and stuff. Nothing too fancy. I don't do a lot of beading, you know, just simple things. So don't get, don't get excited. Don't, I don't want to scare you. All right, so this was an 8-inch one, so you can kind of see the size. This is wet, I think, although I don't want to move it too much. So there you got your 12, a 10, and 8-inch. Um, now, you can also do it in a square, okay? You don't have to round your paper. If you don't have any way to make a circle, leave it square, okay? So this would be, this is another 8-inch square. So it's, sa it's the same process. You're just doing an 8-inch square. Let me put that down. Maybe you can kind of see it. So... I like the look of the round, but you know, the square is, is quite pretty too. It's all the springy butterflies. So you can do that too. So and that's just eight inch squares. And like I said, you can make this any size, any size circle you can go. Um, you really can't, unless you have bigger paper, you can't really go over a 12 inch circle. You know, that's, that's the most you can get out of a 12 by 12 card stock. So that would be about the biggest. Um, I have made I have made smaller than the eight, so this comes out to be a four inch afterwards, and um, so that's another thing. Like if you start with a twelve, it's going to be a six inch. You start with a four inch, it's going to be a two inch little little album, you know. So that's that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial or my our little trip down memory lane. I hope you're enjoying this this kind of like mm, I don't know what to call it, some kind of series of things that I did when I started out and how I progressed through the years. Um, I'll tell you, okay, I'm 61, okay? Um, I'm 61 and I started crafting, well, I've been crafting since, you know, as long as I could hold a crochet hook. Um, that was my, my grandma was teaching me that. I went into um, latch hook, if you guys remember latch hook, I've done plastic canvas, I've done, you know, pretty much anything. I've taught myself everything. Um, I, when I got onto this paper stuff, it was, to me, it was kind of fascinating and it was kind of, um, fun to see what you could do with paper. And when I seen that, um, I don't know where I even seen that squash book one from, and, uh, I had to try it. I don't even know how I found that one years ago. And so I gave that a try. And then in the scrapbook store, I found this kit. I'm like, okay, I'm going to brave it. I actually went back to the store a couple times before I bought it because I'm like, it was kind of, it's intimidating. You know, if you're a beginner, paper can be intimidating, but I'm here to tell you, you can do this. Um, if I can do this, anybody can do this. That was my second one. Then I decided um, to brave the actual chipboard. Now that was down a few years that was more when um youtube started coming around and you can see more you know I, I was making these ones for quite a while and then when youtube came around um that's when i kind of started checking out the other albums so i have my next one is a chipboard album it's it's called a double waterfall um i so i revamped that one from my very first original one so i have i'll show you my original one when i do that one so that'll be my very first chipboard album that I made. And I'm good. I'm, we're going to take our time with that one and show you every step and go through that one. And um, once you get that one, you can make pretty much any kind of album you can think of um, using chipboard and stuff if you want to do that. So and I will even have one of my samples will be done in uh, fabric. So to show you, you can use, you don't have to use paper. You can use fabric to cover your book. So nothing fancy, you know, I don't do fancy here. Okay, so um, think about my, um, when I get to a 1,000 subscribers, when I can go live. So guys, think about that and let me know in the comment what kind of lives you'd like to see. If it's Q&As or Ali AliExpress, I thought would be fun because then you guys can kind of ask me questions about the merchandise too. Um, and whatever, just, just let me know what we want to do and we will do some lives too, as soon as I can go live. Q&A be, might be fun. Um, it might be embarrassing, but it might be fun, you know. So I hope you guys are enjoying everything I'm showing you so far. Remember, if you have any suggestions you'd like me to do, just let me know in the comments, okay? Thanks, everyone. Please subscribe and like my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now.